So now it's time for the national teams. Uh, over the weekend, we had the Rising Starlets. That's, of course, the Arambe Starlets under 20. Play against Angola under 20 in a World Cup qualifiers match. Stadium. And we, Angola were, were no match to the, to the young girls from Kenya. The girls scored six goals against one from Angola. Uh, but uh, I, feel, <laughs> I feel it was a very big mismatch. The, I think the Angolans could Nikamaqua prepared. There was also some issues. They, actually, they arrived a day before a day the game. Before so I think fatigue might have played a part. Uh -huh. jet, lag. Uh, jet lag might played a, might have played a part. So what's your feeling about the game? Bill attack one girl score The score line man in a kaib. Well, I think uh, Rising Starlets have a good good squad, young and energetic. It's a good squad. I expected the bigger score line than that. Honestly speaking. Having watched a number of the girls in high school tournament, high school games, I think, yeah, they were good. Six one, Valerie Nekesa getting a hat trick. Midea was scoring, Midea was scoring a super free a kick. Superb free kick. I think <laughs> it's something to be proud of as Kenyans. Yeah, I think it was a good result, and they, the girls deserve this, deserve the win. Yeah, I hope they'll also get a higher score line when they go to Angola. Comes. The match will be played on 14th. Actually, I listened to Valerie Nekesa talk to the media after, after the game. Alice Ma, she's confident to score more goals. <laughs> the coach has trust in her. She'll score goals. She's a very good, she's a lethal goal scorer. Actually, she was the top scorer for Division 1, yeah, the women football last season. She, she, was, she's, she was and is still playing for Madira Soccer Assassins. Yeah. Madira Soccer Assassins were promoted to the Kenya Women Premier League. They had a game, their, their first game in the weekend, but they did not play it. Sababu. Seven of their players were Kwa Rising Starlets under 20. So that means they have a very good squad, a very technical squad. And the 6 1 scoreline was a clear representation <laughs> of, of the squad we had. Yeah. Sababu, bana, this girl, Valerie Nekesa, in the 10th minute, I was ready in a brace. In the 20th minute, I was in a hat trick. And they could, they could not stop scoring. They continued scoring. And they, they are currently training. They will be jetting out of the country later to, to Angola, to, play, to, to Luanda, to play. Hey, see Luanda Villa. There is a place in Luanda. Yeah, in Viga County. In Viga County. So they will be traveling to Luanda in Angola to play this, uh, the return leg. To me, that's a dead rubber fixture. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Um, Goal difference here, five. We tore it up a little bit hard. But nothing is impossible in football. It course. can happen. So they should go there with all the confidence and raring to go, raring to score more goals, of course. So you can find the highlights of the game on, on the channel also. You can uh, watch the highlights, see the scorers, See the quality of the fourth goal. Was it the fourth? The charity Midewa goal? Yeah, the fourth one. The fourth one. The free kick. Yeah, the, the free kick. Was very the quality goal. free kick. Hey, I think I think that girl should should be taking free kicks for Arabi stars. I digress. <laughs> but she has a very good technique for the free kicks. Iliko free kick in Yeah, it was a good one. Did you enjoy the free kick? Yeah, yeah I loved the free kick. Midewa is a good player. Yeah. Uh, they will also uh, they will play either but. Swana or Cameroon? Yeah. Yeah, for the last qualifiers. Actually, Cameroon won 2 0. So, yeah. might be Cameroon. Might be Cameroon. It was, they won away, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I expect a good transition also when these girls are done with, when they are grown and they are past 20 years. I expect them to transition to the national team easily. Yeah, I think that's. that's actually, the Atrix scorer, funny enough, <laughs> is 16 years old. <laughs> yeah. She's playing in an under 20 fixture, but she's 16. <laughs> so, kama kuna under 20 ngini na chezwa, akona four years. <laughs> so, under 20. Yeah, I think that's a good thing. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's good for, for our country. I would also love to fike kwa the under 20 World Cup finals, which will yeah. be played in, I don't know, India? It's some, uh, somewhere. Uh, I, I just wish to, to fike kwa hizo games. 
sababu that will give a representation of the talent we have in the in the girls soccer in the country the girls soccer which has not been given the same amount of concentration, concentration as the male soccer but it is by far which is looking to take us to to all cup first yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think we should also focus our concentration on the games i loved the the way that fans will turn up kwele game ya cameroon versus kenya the, the senior squad also will all turn up kwele game ya rising starlets versus angola under 20 i loved the way the fans on anza to show up for the arambe starlets matches they, they, we should keep on doing that yeah also eh usisahau highlights highlights nza maana sana sababu kulikuwa na very good goals ama jedan yeah don't forget to watch the highlights hey. yeah so <coughs> apart from that uh, the arambe stars head coach engine firat hey, the last time we we discussed about this coach tulibishana sana na jamaa yangu hapa Josh Angatia who does apparently doesn't know english he only knows mathematics sababu ana work na stats and numbers alisema coach anafaa kuitwa engine so how do you how do you read that name how do you pronounce that name is it engine or is it engine well mm, yeah. me i pronounce it as engine firat engine yeah so una, una share my my pronunciation that's, that's how i pronounce it hey, you know people you. have different pronunciations <laughs> thank you i don't know josh the <laughs> <I> engine <laughs> thank you <laughs> so the arambe stars coach head coach engine firat named the squad the squad is playing a very tough russian side to which is against russia yeah but sir, the game will be played in turkey on 16th monday the 16th for those who have doubts about the game Cameroon is also playing Russia on Thursday. Thursday there? I think Thursday it was the 12th, yeah. Thursday the 12th, Cameroon is playing Russia. So people should stop worrying about whatever they said about the ban and anything because other countries are are playing Russia and concentrate on the game. Yeah. So we 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 got private to the squad posted on the Arambe Stars page. Yeah. Uh I do you have the squad on your phone yeah i have it i have it so <laughs> bro <laughs> i'll i'll give you the chance to read the the goalkeepers and then eh, we'll continue from there so the goalkeepers called up kwa squad idan walikuwa kina nani yeah goalkeepers we have brian odiambo from kcb yeah we have brian bure from tasca mm-hmm. and we have patrick matasi from police all of them are kenya Premier local league. Yeah. league players and they have all kept three clean sheets this season yeah surprisingly The leading clean sheet keeper in the league, John Jao, yeah. is not in the list. Of Costa Rangers. Yeah, of Costa Rangers is not on the list. I maybe thought Ali Fakwa kwa list sababu I think the national team is all about rewarding current form. You you don't you don't get to call call up players not based on their current form. I think to me John Jao should have been in the squad also. It's better that one get a goalkeeper wangi. Give me John Jao kwa kwa squad sababu he shown the quality. Okay. Actually hizo clean sheets zake wezi sema ni all about the defense sababu amepiga some very crucial saves. Of course. So what's your feeling about the exclusion of John Jao and maybe well, Ian Otieno who was in the previous squad? Well, I feel like all the three goalkeepers who are called up quality deserve it. Yeah. True. Yeah, they deserve it. They have all been they have improved as games goes by in the league. And you can also see they're making good saves. Brian Bure is doing good at Tasca. Brian Odiambo is good. Matas is also doing good. So I feel like maybe we, we should have called four goalkeepers what we could to include <laughs> Njau. <laughs> But yeah, the three are good. The three I'm, are good. I'm really fine with that. I'm very fine with that. I have no doubt. Okay. So in the defense part, Joseph Stanley Okumu of FC Reims in France. Yeah. Arguably our most our best <laughs> yeah, ni best eh. <laughs> our best defender and acheza kwa the highest level. Highest level. Yeah. He's played against Monaco, he's played against Lyon. Hata kama ana lose some winning some starting against Monaco is something I never thought I'll see a Kenyan player do. <laughs> a Kenyan defender do. Okay. Kwa strikers kwa strikers inakuwa a bit normal sababu a striker huyo ni expect you kukimbia but defense inahitaji all the intelligence very much very much hard work is taken into defense ile for you to play at top level unafaa kuwa nayo so joseph okumu having that top level ability in i mean tuna tuna go a good place as a country yeah when you have a defender who is playing in that top 5 european league 
I think it's a good thing. And he's also starting, not only playing, yeah, yeah, I think. It's a, it's a good thing for us, yeah. The next defender on the line is Brian Mandela. I have not seen him play at Mamelodi Sundowns. I might not be watching all their matches. So maybe anacheza gasile sio zile sioni but zile mingi nimeona sijaona kicheza I have my reservations about his call up Actually ukiangalia hiyo call up calling Brian Mandela who does not play regularly and leaving someone like Ken Owino who plays game in game out he has been on the to- team of the week 5 out of 6 times yeah. he has kept 5 out of 6 clean sheets he has scored one goal so far this season he has only conceded one goal so far this season. I don't think it was a wise decision. Do you feel the same, Mama? You, you are okay with <laughs> Brian Mandela? Well, with Brian Mandela, I think... Uh, well, uh, I think he should not have received the call-up, in my opinion. I feel like we should have called another defender. I feel like maybe Coach Alimuita, maybe your experience, but that guy has not been uh, playing in sun- sundowns, Mamelodi in South Africa. He just, I think, a recent match, he had some few minutes towards the end. Yeah, but he's not been playing. So I feel like we should have called this, this player. I feel like we should have replaced Mandela with Collins Nganga, who plays in Zanako, Zambia. The guys played Nash. all minutes. Dennis Nganga. Yeah, Dennis Nganga. Sorry, Dennis Njire Nganga was formerly in Gormaya. The guy is a good center, but he has played all minutes in Zanako. He also scored a goal in a certain game that they won 2-1. I think the guy has been good. It's, we, yeah, I think we should have replaced Mandela with Nanga. That's me. So to our fans who are watching us right now, do you think <coughs> Brian Mandela deservedly got a call up to the national team? Um, who do you think should have replaced him in the national team setup? So the next, the next on, the, on the line of the call ups was, Brian, uh, was Johnston Omuro. Another top, top, top defender playing for, uh, for in the Portuguese league for Estoril. Estrela. Estrela. Estrela City. Yeah. Uh, he has played against FC Porto. Actually, they lost, I think, 1 nil. Yeah, it was 1 nil. Hey, it was a tight that game. I, yeah, he had to travel. Yeah. To, yeah, so he could not play. Ali missed game in South Sudan. Yeah. yeah. The country. So, also a very top, top quality defender. Yeah. So so far we have two quality center back two quality center backs up for Nimi around yeah, the stars. And we also have seen their partnership from the youth days. Yeah. I think yeah, in central defense we are sorted. And so the next one was, is Colin C. Change, also a very, very top, top, top defender. Started off as a midfielder and yes. Akarudi, a slot kwa, kwa center back. So yeah, is a KUPS. And eh, he's doing a very good job there. Also Kuna Eric Ouma, Marcelo. The Kenyan Marcelo. Yeah, that's my best player, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I Eric think Uma arguably Marcelo. one of the best left yeah, backs from in the his days in Gorma <laughs> back in 2015. I think he's one of the best, best. players. Yeah, actually, ko, niliona kwa list flani, yeah, left backs with the most dribbles. Aliku, aliku, I think, top five. Yeah, okay. he's... Uh, Una compare na kina Luke Shaw, kina Alfonso Davis, and he makes top five. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> that's a top player. Yeah, hey, top, recently top player. played his 100... Yeah, he had played over 100 games yeah. for his team, AAK, back in Sweden. Yeah, I think that's the one of my best players. Yeah. So next up, the right back, Runi Onyango. I feel your call up here, it may take time if I come to Tambo. <laughs> like Runi is quality. Up to right back, the deep, the, 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 the early crosses, and as a, and as a piggy, a cross here up a deep. He can also score from, from Nini set pieces, Mavichua. And he's a top quality right back, according to me. Right from his days in Wazito FC. Akatoka Wazito Akaenda, Dubai. Akacheza one season and then he's back, back to Gormaya. So what do you feel about Runi Onyango? Yeah, Runi Onyango deserved that call up. Yeah, that's credit for the good job he's been doing. I think he deserves it. I have no, nothing to say about that, yeah. Okay, and the next one is Daniel Sakari. These, the call up here, Daniel Sakari, he may, he may draw a lot of controversy from football fans, from the sports journalists, from every sports enthusiast. Sababianini, Daniel Sakari has not been playing at Tasca. This season, actually, I don't think he has started a single match for Tasca. But surprisingly, yeah. in the national team, you see his, his name there. Uh, actually, it's a, it's, a big, it's, a big, it's a big problem because apparently Daniel Anyembe, who was impressive in the game against Qatar, has been dropped. And 
who replaces him Daniel Sakari who has not been playing uh, actually Daniel Anyembe played in the last game uh, the last game his team played Alianza alicheza 90 so it's not an injury concern so what's your feeling about uh, about Kukua na Sakari instead of Anyembe well, they are both I, Daniels <laughs> I feel like uh, the national team coach has his own reasons for calling Sakari, which we don't know. <laughs> well, Sakari is, no, is a good player, we know, but coming from injury and he hasn't played, started any game for Tasca so far, I feel like, well, uh, I just feel like Ange Itua, I feel like we should have called another player in that position. Personally, I feel like Sakari, according to me, coming from injury in Ojanza minutes, then Unaito. It's something, something strange, according to me. But you know, national coaches have their own way of playing, and they know the kind of players they want to fit their system. So maybe coach Amangalia kona kwa right back suote. Sakari don't understand. Sakari, yeah, Sakari. Maybe he missed the last collab because of injury. Yeah, na lukwa mito the previous one. So where's he jua? We don't know the reasons, but personally, I feel like coming from injury and the guy has not started any minutes for task. I feel like. Yeah, we could call someone else who has been having minutes. But it was, it was, yeah, Bora coach Amumuita, and if he start, starts in the game or comes on and plays well, I think to support. To support, yeah. So, Nezataka Kuski opinion, you peer fans on the same issue, on the Daniel Sakari issue. Do you think Daniel Sakari or Daniel Anyembe? They are both Daniels. So, you replace your genie appeal. Is it Sakari, is it Anyembe? Who would you prefer to be in the national team squad? Based on the games we watch Wakicheza. And also keeping in mind that Zakari has not played minutes for Tasca this season. So uh, I'll go on to the next. Vincent Harper, the new boy, in line for his debut. Yeah. He has actually played for the England youth sides. And he has played for the England C squad. The England C squad in a Kwagaile squad here. Non-professional <laughs> players on a non-league soccer. Uh, Vincent Harper plays for... Exeter FC in I think League Two, which yeah, is considered yeah, a yeah. non-league. Yeah. Yeah. So eh, yeah, I'm the England C squad. Nathani him walk and then and if Engine Firat has decided to want him a call up, and I think he will link up with the squad at Nini at Taki. I have seen, I've watched some of his highlights on YouTube. Yeah, I just wish. He brings that with him, Akikam, Arambistas, Koskodi. So what do you think about Vincent Harper? Do you, have you watched, have you watched him, have you Googled him? Sababu mimi nikiona a new name in the squad. The first thing I usually do, Google him. <laughs> have you, have you seen anything about him? Yeah, actually the day the news broke out that there'll be, a, uh, there's a call up for Harper, just went straight and... I think even on his ex page, I'm a pin up or his yeah, highlights. Highlights. So, Nikangalia, well, but you can also not be fooled by highlights. You know, highlights, <laughs> Unakanga too. Unakanga, the good, the things. good things. You can't put the yeah, bad true. things. But I think according to the highlights, it's, he, He's uh, a good player. he seems to be a good player who can play on the left, left back, left, left, back, back, and left midfield, left, and midfield, left, left wing. wing. Yeah, mm. I think it's good to see more players who play outside the country and have exposure in those good grown leagues being called up. I think, yeah. Let's see. Let's see how his debut will go. Okay. And the last person on the defender's list is Amos Nundi. No introduction <laughs> needed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The winning goal against Qatar. Of course. The good, the good display against Iran. But now the quality. Yeah, I no have no nothing answer. to add. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then Kwa midfield. Kwa midfield. Amita the evergreen Richard Odanda. Hey! Yeah, that's some quality player. South Sudan only put a shit up. Also, kuna Anthony Akumu. Not playing Kule Japan, yeah. but Akiku Japan national team, now I got some flashes of brilliance in him. So, me, Niliacha Kubisha Nabut, Anthony Akumu, Sababu, anytime I'm at the national team, you'll actually see yeah. some game in him. Ama, what do you think about, about Anthony Akumu? Well, Again. I think. Akumu is those players who are called, they may not be playing, but when called to play for the national team, they give their all. But uh, according to the recent match, it's not that players that depend on 90 minutes. Yeah, true. Yeah, I think. But if there are players who don't deliver in their leagues, but then they come home, they play well, I think, yeah. 
I have no problem with that. Yeah. Kenneth Muguna is called up for the national team. Actually, I'll, 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 I'll defend Kenneth Muguna to the core. Before the last call up, Muguna was injured. He had a knee problem. Alikuwa mm-hmm. ukiangalia games alicheza against Qatar na South Sudan, alikuwa na knee strap. Alikuwa amefunga strap kwa, kwa knee yake. But after that, he's gone on to score two goals for Police FC. He has gone on to show some good display for Police FC. Anyone who has watched Police FC after after the international break and as a tell, Muguna has been brilliant. So I personally I think I agree with the coach calling him up again. Although ah you although acha ni nyamazi hapo kwanza but I think I agree with the coach calling him up. Yeah. Although many people will disagree with that but mimi I support Muguna to the core not because he plays for police but because he's a good player. So what what's your feeling about Muguna receiving the call up amid amid noises ya watu wengi sana hapa Kenya after the eh uh, watu walisema alikuwa bit off kwa hizo games mbili za international break last. Well Muguna being called up I have no issue with that I think is one of the one of the creative midfielders we have one of the best yeah the best well he might have his own recent problems issues but you know there are those players kuna tuli time up down but they, they have that quality just lazima tu wait up i feel uh, yeah he deserves the call up though i feel like hapo vyo umesema ati alitwa then the had some issues i don't i don't know but anyway huko enda pale vitu yeah niliona niliona alikuwa na strap and everything so i don't i don't understand how do you call a player who's not take but somebody is doing a coach but anyway but anyway kuitwa muguna has he's been good recent games yeah muguna has been excellent since the international break the game versus nyaya amekuwa kiperform poor he deserves he deserves that one alpha nyango is next on the list to me very good inclusion he's been solid from last season i'm a solid for goal and i have absolutely no problem with him with him being on the list i also have no problem with alfo nyango that's a top player ayub timbe next on the list my biggest concern my biggest worry will be after the qatar game a guy said that he had an injury that he needed to go be treated at his club on the day we played south sudan ayub timbe had a game for his club he played a game for his club i don't think that's that's something you should ever do you can't you can't just leave your national team claiming citing an injury then go on to play for your club i don't think it's right i don't i don't think it's right i i i'll never support that so to me to me that's a player who is i don't know let me say not very serious because i i think the national team should come first because many players say their dream their dreams as they begin their careers is to play for the national team but when you call for the national team and then cite an injury and go to play for your club it shows a very big problem there i don't know maybe you have a different opinion on that yeah well, you can you can give us your opinion on the issue of being drawing from the squad while in qatar citing an injury and then going on to playing for his club well i don't think i can say much about that i don't know main reasons but i hope team being called up sije kwa na issue nayo because any time i hope team amekuwa kitu in my opinion amekuwa kicheza too poor but if he did that then i think it's bad yeah it's bad kama we had the issue of porto the one of omuru we had the but omuru omuru yeah, it was permission <laughs> okay permission request yeah that's what i wanted to say like, he did not cite yeah, an injury so i wanted to say if Mm-hmm. If I hope Dimbe had a game you love us for permission yeah. instead of setting an injury if that was the case yeah just like Omuro did yeah but when called up for national team you always believe us so what do you think fans do you think that Ayub Dimbe should should uh, should have gotten that chance second chance after what he did after the Qatar game ama it should have been over for him also remembering uh Austin Otiambo had the same problem and this time around he has not been called up so miss juice juice maybe it's the coach's decision ama kitu kayo and the next interesting person on the list ovelo chieng <laughs> after so many years away from the national team ovelo chieng has finally been included in the squad eh uh, mimi hapa sijui ni achie mungu ama niongee sababu i don't think ovela as a club currently Siko yeah, siko yeah. siko preview of the information that he has a club. The last time I checked his club ilikuwa imem release. 
If any of you fans know the club is playing for, please inform us on the comments. We also want to know that because personally, I don't know if he has a club. Uh, I'll give this chance to Dan Boyer. Maybe you know. <laughs> Maybe well, you have a different opinion. I don't know. <laughs> I'm also not uh, not aware of the club, the guy is representing of, as of current status. But I think, I, I don't know. I, I can't remember the last time that guy played <laughs> football. <laughs> I, tried, I tried to find whether I'm a Kwakichesa recently. And, well, I, I don't think. I just feel like. I have no, I have no, I have no comments about that. But no comments, no comments. I just have no <laughs> comments about that, honestly. So for you fans, Neza to pay your comments, be about Ovelo Cheng being, being included in the, in the squad. And the last person on the on the list, ni Clifton Mieso. I think we'll not discuss much about Clifton. We talked about him quite yeah. a good time to the quarter analyze game AFC, what he did. And so uh, some notable exclusions from the last squad, ni Duke Abuya. Duke Abuya actually played very few minutes from last time, and this time round he's not been called up. I want to know your opinion on whether he should, be, he should have been called up. Sababu is on fine form. Also, maybe maybe there was a problem with with uh, maybe the club. Jopia kuna time club in attacker ku retain players. Sababu yanini? Yeah. Sababu anataka ku on a particular system, especially because their coach coach wali talker. Also, I can't see. Rupia, so it might be the club, the club's decision. I might not be privy to the information, but it might be the club's decision. So I'll I leave for Dan Utsome the strikers, the forwards. So it's strikers, so we see what is strikers. So the forwards. Yeah, the forwards you have Moses Juma, Alfred Scriven, Moses Schuma, and Michael Olunga. So <coughs> let's talk about Masud Juma for a bit. Masu Juma in the last game against South Sudan. He had to do fans with his wife. Not with his wife, but with his wife. With his wife. Coach. He had to do so many fans. Because of... He had to do a pass and he had to do a pass. He had to do a control. He had to do so many things that he had to do fans. Yeah. I think Masu Juma is also out of position. Masu Juma is naturally a striker. And it is a show in the wings, and maybe Isaac Wanayo decision making a wing a match to come here. So I think Pia in as a quarterly a little longer sabo when it is a show of position. Most basically, most players work it is a show for position on a quagga, somehow off, a quaggy at their best. So, do you think ni which is a show of position? I'm on the ability. I'm on what's your feeling about Masud Juma as a player? Well, to Kangalia, when you feel it, I'm up to the forwards, most of them which is a two. Wing, swings on of natural strikers on a pattern of chairs. So I don't know why. Maybe that's his own. He ended up with Jibu Apo. But he knew he was going to Juma before that game versus South Sudan in Kasarani. Before a part injury, he had some good runs, decent game. He was good, but after the part injury, he came back early and down. And I always feel like I'll go to the jibu kujikaza, but kama I'll go to the middle after the injury because I thought I'll go to the middle. I'll go to the middle after the injury. Like Rupia ah. did, and then yeah, Ange put a blames like <laughs> what one game to Kia? Yeah, he <laughs> provoked fans, but Masud Juma in national team last game some coaches up off. See now you should call up. Alfred Shriven playing for Elton yeah, in think, yeah, Norway. Norway uh, made to the team of the week some yeah, some few some weeks ago, and. The last time he was called up, Ali was on bench for both games <laughs> in Qatar and here back in Kasarani yeah. against South Sudan. So do you, do you, do you feel Ange on a call up after Kufanjiyo? Actually, after before that, in the Iran game, Ali was just the last minute. Ali was just the 85. So cumulatively, I think less than 10 minutes for the national team. Na he was called up and he was the last time he was called up. Do you think... Well, I feel like play of five cut a call up, according to me. Like whether you get minutes or not, once you're called up, we end up. You should honor the call up. You should always honor the call up unless otherwise. But Scriven, the few minutes I'll just give me run, I think he looks good. He looks Very good. good. Personally, I feel like kujana na kuka bench ku I think well, I don't know the same way kuna talk about kujana kujoka bench. 
alafu na bado kitu unakuja but i see no issue there are other countries they call players every day na bado na katu bet so i don't know whether when he come to our country is it like it's something well i don't know maybe the coach kuna sababu zake but once ameitwa mimi whether you play or not always on the call up maybe ataitwa and maybe that's the time maybe this Atateza. is the time to play yeah okay moses shuma a very a very good hold up play player very good in there yeah and he scored a goal against talanta yeah before he I, before, before before I, i travel with the national team so to me i think good player yeah moses he shuma it. moses shuma moses shuma fits into that system every time firata meets a shuma firat shuma jituma shuma cheza to poor firat just love that guy yeah i think akotu sa has no problem now the captain is played every each and every other minute for firat yeah. actually olunga hakuna sidani amepigwa sub nia hajapigwa sub sidani amepigwa sub amecheza all the minutes since firat became coach yeah i also yeah he's been good in some games sidani has he scored for firat yet yes yeah he scored he scored a he goal scored. yeah i remember that uh, but then i feel pia mm. to kick all up players there is no need of as in at the whole minutes pia kuna kuna fatigue sababu national team unajua national team games as ikuwa giati zime space on weeks or something like yeah. that zina involve a lot of traveling na bado ziko very close to very each close other to each i think for four three days b- between each other na bado uko kwa ndege most of the time so i think pia anafaa kupewa rest kuna games unaangalia unaona ni kama anahitaji hiyo rest sana sana we have some other options on the bench so si 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 cheze olunga must play olunga is our best striker sasa <laughs> yeah, lakini top pia lakini pia ukiona game unacheza against Qatar leo and then South Sudan in four days time at least game ikif kapale dakia 70 80 try another option yeah. and then he'll play against uh, South Sudan in the next game but yeah. i that's that's how i feel about it <sighs> i don't say si si feel si feel unafaa ku, kucheza games zote pia eh yeah, fatigu play a big part in, in games so eh yeah should be rested also yeah so I, have no you feel about it. i have no problem with michael olunga being called up is our top striker the last time ali fanya watu wali mafonzo walikuwa na hiyo asira but is our top striker but i feel like ile game ya sudan could have done better ange kwatra ngicheza tu some minutes then ngiza ta scriven was been warming up all time in the bench yeah i think you should some games you should also limit our top top yeah, players top playing players from playing more minutes and they are yeah they are friendly for the ranking system but at the same time can also give iki kuwa yeah. qualifiers a world cup yeah. what acheze yote but is a friendly <laughs> yeah we can rest him but yeah, we can rest him <laughs> rest him we have two good strikers yeah. yeah so i think we've come to the end of that segment ya ku ya ku analyze the squad that engine firat called up i also think it's time to ask the fans a question uh mina is attack kuskia opinion zenu on the squad uh, the general squad do you think all these players were well, rightly called up uh, also which players do you think ku miss out was a very big mistake for me i think daniel anyembe that's my opinion but i would love to hear your opinions on which player do you think missing out from the national team will have a great impact on on the squad against against qatar against russia remembering russia is a top top side in the in the world also eh sir dan nataka yes. unipe predictions zako za russia versus ken <laughs> well predictions some uh, prediction or oh, prediction, prediction not the starting whatever so see see starting lineup we love a, a section for that setting lineup mm. nataka tu prediction ya mabao prediction ya mabao well uh, i'll always back my country <laughs> so <laughs> definitely we're going for a 2-1 win hey. yeah. hopeful that's me that's me two two very hopeful <laughs> okay i'll i'll go with a russia win russia ni top top side I don't think we stand a good chance ya kuwin your game. I think Russia will score like four goals against us. <laughs> so I'll give it a 4-1, 4-0. 4-1 4-0. 4-0. 4-0 to Russia. Uh fans wale wana outside to pay your prediction for the game. What do you think will be the final scoreline between Russia and Kenya? Remembering the game itakuwa huko Europe. Uh, 
very good facilities very good playing surfaces hakuna kusema ati player alijipeana sababu surface ilikuwa mbaya so what do you think will be, will be the final score for the game so done naweza taka utupe your predi- your prediction for the lineup that will start for Kenya against nini Russia as a eh starting with the formation and then the the players you you will need to fit in your formation well <clears throat> uh, my lineup i'll go with um, a 4 Four two, mm-hmm. four four two—the traditional way they, way they call it. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with a four four two formation. Yeah, because the Japanese Firat has been using mixed formations. Yeah, yeah. So we, knowing his formation of Angumo, so I'll use go with mine four four two, uh, one four four two, and the goal I'll start with Brian of the Ambo. Mm-hmm. Good with his feet, good with his savings. Yeah, he's just good. Then fullback, yeah, not fullback defenders. The four defenders I'll go with right back. Runio Nyango, left back Eric Ouma Maselo, uh, the two pairing center backs will go with Omurwa and Okumu. Yeah, and then I think it's a good partnership at the center back. And then midfield, I'll go. Uh, in the midfield I'll go with four players, but one inverting to play as a 10, mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah, I'll go with um, Odada and Akumu for central then on this left wing I'll go with um, Ayub Timbe in my opinion gives that space and apanga hiyo space also tracks back I just love the way he plays then on this other side I'll go with Moguna and then the two forwards I'll go with Scriven and Michael Olunga yeah that's my squad okay thank you Dan yeah. <coughs> so I'll go next with my squad the goalkeeping position i'll use a 1 right uh in the in the goalkeeping department i'll go with brian othiambo apo tuna agree yeah in the defense i will start i'll start center center back partnership ndanzisha joseph joseph okumu and omuro then on the right back position that is Shamos Nondi on the left back that is Eric Marcelo Uma upper one i'll play dada i'll play or dada in the four i will play i'll play muguna and akumu akumu apa katikati kabisa and then wide that is on the left side i'll play Vincent apa mm-hmm. and on the right side I'll play because he's there and available I'll play Daniel Sakari I'll give my reasons for Daniel Sakari in a, mo- in a moment Daniel Sakari will offer will offer the numbers going backwards because Russia is a very good team you need you'll need to defend more also Daniel Sakari will offer that option for of loading with the throw balls at at a corner Russia so throw balls for box and they might be, they will be dangerous to to Russia and then as a sole striker i will play my kololunga i will also expect when maybe we have the ball change it to a 442 muguna muguna partners nani partners olunga up front and nani aitwaje odada anapanda kidogo ku join akumu hapa na nani na sakari so basically that's my squad so this is it guys enough for today to make what to all about Kenyan football and everything else uh, make sure to follow us on our, our social media platforms at sports i sports also subscribe to our youtube channel sports i sports hit the notification button for these and more amazing content until next time bye guys <laughs>